Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you a couple of websites and online platforms that feature so-called house sitting jobs. Yes, you heard right. There is a way how you can earn money nowadays as a house sitter taking care of your client's home while he or she is at work, for example, or on a business trip for a few days. But we'll get to the details just in a moment and we're going to discuss the pros but also the cons of this earning method. So without further ado, drop a like and now let us dive into this. Starting off with house sitting job number one on our list, which is Mind My House Come. So guys, before we get to the technicalities, let me first outline in just a few words what house sitting actually is and what it has been designed for. Just in case that's the first time you hear about this earning method, the idea behind house sitting is fairly simple. Let's say you own a house, a mansion, an apartment or a flat and you have to go on a business trip or you work long shifts from morning to evening all day long or maybe even work on weekends and you need someone to look after or to take care of your pets at home for example for instance to go on walks with your dog while you're not at home to feed them to watch over them and so on and so forth or you need someone to do some proper house cleaning or gardening chores for you because you're not at home most of the day and that's where online marketplaces such as this one here mind my home and you as a house sitter come in guys sometimes your client may ask the house sitter to stay at their home for a longer period of time like a week or so when they have to go on a longer business trip for instance maybe even abroad or if they need someone to take care of their home while they're on vacation or holiday for example that's how i used to work as a student back in the days i offered house sitting services either to my neighbors in exchange for payment or even to random clients online on these marketplaces and i got paid for checking their flats and apartments every single day or let's say twice a week for them while they were traveling i watered their flowers and plants I aired out the entire flat so that it didn't become stuffy, maybe did some cleaning and simple chores, I fed their pets like their fishes, birds or cats, if they had a dog I used to go on walks with him and made sure everything was locked properly after I left. So that's what house sitters do for a living and as you can see people are actually making real profit with that type of services, for example on marketplaces like this one here. Currently there are 372 assignments in all countries available here on my, my house. So this one works worldwide. We got house sitting assignments from clients in the United States, Dartmouth, New England for instance. Oh, that's pretty Lovecraftian. Offers from Costa Rica, we got Blue Ridge Mountains, West Virginia, then we got assignments from Germany, Munich, the UK and so on and so forth. You can join Mind My Home anytime if you like as a house sitter, apply for house sitting assignments and negotiate terms as well as the payment rates with your client. Bear in mind though that there is an annual service fee to pay for both for homeowners as well as for house sitters of $29 per year. Luckily they have the lowest annual fee on the web according to this information here on their homepage. Then we got TrustedHouseSitters.com, a pretty popular marketplace for house sitting services that has received so far predominantly positive feedback on Trustpilot, namely 4.5 out of 5 possible stars, which is a very decent result I'd say. Now guys, it's not only taking care of your client's home or looking after it while they're absent, house sitting is closely related to pet sitting or pet care. You know, countries like the US, the UK or Germany for example, are amongst countries with the highest numbers of pet owners worldwide, so expect a lot of clients and homeowners to ask you to look after their pets too as their house sitters. You should have some genuine love for pets for that of course, for dogs and cats for instance, or for birds, parrots, fishes and rodents. For example, if your client keeps kois in a pond in their garden, it would be your responsibility to feed them and to look after them according to your client's instructions while they're not at home. So my recommendation would be learn the basics of pet sitting and pet care up front before you accept your first assignment so that you don't approach this unprepared sitters who give pets love and companionship. There you go. Clients post house sitting assignments on the marketplace here on Trusted House Sitters. Now I would need to log in but you can see these offers in the background guys and you as the house sitter or pet sitter or both would be given the opportunity to apply for these offers and to get hired by the client if both parties agree 
to the terms and conditions. Taking account though that there are annual membership fees too here on Trusted House Sitters for both for sitters as well as for pet parents or homeowners. Now we got online platforms such as Workaway, house sitting opportunities from around the world. There you have it. So these guys operate worldwide too. Well, almost worldwide to add some context to this in 162 countries to be more precise here. So there are some exceptions to that rule. We got offers from countries like Australia, New Zealand, Costa Rica, Spain, Sweden, Italy and Ecuador. They feature even a list of last minute or urgent house sitting opportunities here. Help with dog sitting and house sitting on the beach. Now that looks more like a holiday stay. I mean, sure, you are free to enjoy the benefits of this too. Like if your client has a house and beautiful locations like, for instance, at the beach or in the mountains, why not? Just remember that your responsibilities as a house and pet sitter come first always guys it all depends on which terms and conditions you negotiate with your client but your client's needs come first free accommodation is one of the main advantages of house sitting for example it's almost like staying at a hotel i'd argue but with some responsibilities you can connect to the locals if you want enjoy the company of your clients animals and pets and as a nice side effect you become more disciplined for example if your client asks you to perform work or certain chores according to schedule and according to instructions they give you so a lot of benefits and as a cherry on top you can earn money with these house sitting services nevertheless there are also some cons and disadvantages and since this is an honest review i feel absolutely obligated to go through these cons or at disadvantages with you too so that you can assess for yourself if house sitting or bed sitting really is something for you or not so the major disadvantage is the responsibility especially when it comes to pet care or pet sitting. Don't underestimate it, guys. Animals require care, love, and a lot of attention. So only do this if you're really passionate about pets and are willing to take care of them and to look after them for your client. Also, sometimes things can go wrong. For example, you might break something accidentally like your client's dishes or a vase. Power outages may occur too, your client's pet may become sick, so it would be your responsibility to look after the animal and to take it to the vet ASAP if needed. There may be no shops in your local area either in some cases, so you'll have to plan how to do your shopping up front and where to buy groceries, for example. Some clients may share food they have at home with you, but normally the house sitter is responsible for his or her own catering. There may be conflicts with neighbors and that list goes on and on and on. So there are pros, but also cons to sum that up. And lastly, guys, make sure you always deliver quality house sitting and pet sitting services because your clients will certainly leave reviews on these marketplaces. And the more positive feedback you receive as a house sitter, the higher your chances of getting hired in the future by more clients. Reliability, trustworthiness and professionalism are absolutely key factors or traits here. Also guys, make sure you diversify right from the get-go and add as many of these house sitting and pet sitting platforms to your portfolio as you can, including platforms such as this one here, housecarers.com. Then we got no matter, WAG, a very popular pet sitting marketplace in the States, house sit search, another one, mind a home, these guys operate in the United Kingdom, and so on and so forth. All right, guys, so to not make this video too long, I'd say we call it a day here. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time on our channel.